Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing once again with a Brute Beatdown. So basically Brute Beatdown recently became my kind of hobby because if I don't know what to do I basically play Brute Beatdown and it's gonna always work out in my favor. My opponent will start out very aggressively playing Twins at the bridge. I'm going with the counter shot in hope to get some damage and I think I will because well uh, Brute gets one hit, but then he plays Bomb Blasters and it's not fun and games anymore. He plays Cemetery, which is obviously very weird, to say the least. Uh, today's the Brute Cemetery we're gonna be playing is gonna be a, a variant with a Lightning, so basically our game plan will be very simple. Uh, build very big push uh, before crossing the bridge, then Lightning on offense and hopefully win. Yeah, that's the gameplay. Yeah, that's what the Brute Beatdown players are thinking, are playing, and if they're winning, they're doing definitely the same strategy over and over. And yeah, just uh, play and pray. Here we go. Brute with Longsword. If you play Skeleton Horde, I'm gonna be on time with bullets. Unfortunately, I don't save Longsword. I could have if I were to predict the Skeleton Horde, but these players. Is the very interesting breed because if you're facing someone with zero medals like we ha have uh, right here, they can uh, play Skeleton Horde immediately and they can play it like uh, very delayed because I don't know, maybe they have a very slow reaction time. Usually they play it immediately though, so I probably still should like track their mana and uh, try to hit it as soon as possible. But at the same time, I'm kind of a competitive guy, so if I don't see like a uh, 100 percent way to win i usually won't go that way because uh, i kind of put myself at an unnecessary risk and i guess these players i can win even without predictions so it's a uh, bonus points like i'm gonna play bomber here because uh, okay he's gonna play bomberman which is gonna be very tough to break through and that's why i put bomber here. okay Shield skeletons. I definitely should have just killed this bomberman because it's just very annoying right now. In here he plays twins. I have no trap. Okay. My man's plays are getting weirder and weirder every single second, and I'm actually not a fan of that. I'm gonna just play Mar Devil. He plays on the opposite side of the board, which is even weirder that all his plays combined. I'm gonna just play. Yeah, now I'm playing bullet because he just went too far. That's not how you play the video game by the end. If you do, well, at least don't include me into that because I don't want to partake in such vulgar activities like... Oh my god, I'm gonna play Super Devil on this. I'm gonna actually predict the Skeleton Horde. And I didn't because he actually played bullets for whatever reason. Even though Skeleton Horde would be absolutely the best play in this position. But the win is a win. I'm not gonna complain. Poe uh, actually doesn't lose any medals because he had zero at the beginning of the game. And that's gonna be the conclusion because I'm gonna get plus four anyway. That's where the free medals are generated and inflating the system. So yeah, uh, caught in 4k I guess. See you guys in game number two. And the next opponent of today's video will be Alon, who will be playing a Madness on his Steel Hammer, which I don't think is the best plan because I still have Longsword, but I don't have a good uh, a card against uh, his fifth, so that's gonna gi give him value. He plays Skeleton Horde and he plays a Cyclone to pull my Swordsman into it, which, not gonna lie, won't do crap. <laughs> He played this Skeleton Horde uh, uh, to counter my Longsword anyway, so it's not that big of a deal for me. And uh, yeah, I was only forced to play... Uh, I mean, th that was good trades all around, that's what I meant to say. I'm gonna play Longsword actually against this uh, uh, Bomber, uh, Thief, and I'm gonna support it with Bomber uh, to just create some kind of pressure. He actually had to spend Skeleton Horde on the left side so our right side <laughs> will absolutely cook these devils are on the tower and they're not letting go until they're gonna be just uh, killed probably by bullets that's my prediction and in the meantime i'm gonna have a healthy mother devil which will spawn more devils a brood which is like on one hp and somehow survive till the end and that's gonna be the game number two very quick 
game. Usually with this deck you can get away with very quick games sometimes and sometimes you will just be dragged into a four minute games against I guess like cycle players who defend very well like it depends but with this deck very often you just get like very quick one minute two minute wins and uh, jump to the next game so yeah uh, we're gonna take the win and jump to the next game as I've previously said. And the next game will be against uh, Lolek Titek, who I don't uh, understand the reference, but I presume there is one. I'm gonna play actually Longsword. That was very smart rolling, still delaying it specifically, so I uh, pretty much cannot uh, react to it in time. On time. Uh, usually, as you probably know me, I'm playing very greedily, so if I can get away with some interaction, I'm not like playing some plays that will assure me to get this interaction because I trust my cards will do the job and if my opponent uh, tries to like uh, mess it up I'm gonna usually uh, be on time to absolutely not lose everything that I own so I'm gonna play actually Swordman against this thief he's gonna get a flying bomb which is obviously a mistake here because I can just play lightning on the following gunner and right now he has no defenders like uh, this Ice Tiny was a kind of a desperation Ice Tiny. He plays another Thief, which will get on my boot, but I don't think anything special here. I'm gonna get my uh, Long Sword behind the Mother Devil. Very sad that my old Devils die, but at the same time, Long Sword is dealing a lot of damage, and I think my opponent will just give up right here. So, yeah, that's gonna be the game. Let's jump to the next one. I, at this point, I don't think I'll have to like count games. I'm gonna just drag this video to a 15 minute mark. Not because of the ads, but because I usually keep the videos of that length. So, yeah, let's jump to the next game. And we're against, well, a certified professional who specifies is something illegal I presume he has zero medals so pretty much an uh, boom arena amateur however you like uh, watch at it M maybe he is a true beginner and doesn't know how to play the game but if he knows uh, how to play the game at least we know that he uh, wasn't playing a boom arena at least on this account so we're gonna actually go in I'd love it to uh, get eliminated, but I think that's not gonna be the case. He actually gets away with a pretty darn good defense. I'm gonna give him nice play because this boot will get like one hit. Okay, one hit. Beautiful. I, I actually, uh, even though it's not good for me that my opponent is defending, I actually enjoyed to see his defense because it was it was very well executed. I think I'm gonna just let this piercing archer go. At the end of the day, I have some damage to spare, so I. I may as well now. I'm gonna play Swordsman in the back. Maybe in hindsight, I should have played the Swordsman on the Spirit Archer, but I, but I wasn't really tracking how much mana does he have. So I'm gonna just play a Mother Devil and probably play Brood at the same time. But if he like pressures me very heavily, um, I'm not have, I'll not have any trouble on like, uh, not going in. But I'm gonna go in because my opponent uh, has no interest in just in counter attacking I'm gonna just make him a favor and uh, make this death swift because the piercing archer doesn't get a lineup against devil okay now it does but it's a bit too late and actually the longsword also on the left side connects like everything's falling apart for this man he calls not good for whatever reason as if his mistakes were like my fault well like you probably know me, I don't understand this approach, but what can I do about it? Absolutely nothing, and that's why we won't be complaining about it. We're gonna play Brute in the back, because I have a frank uh, feeling that my opponent won't give up anytime soon, so we're gonna just play Mardab on the opposite side, so we're gonna just pop a Brute in front of her, and before that we're gonna just pop some uh, support cards uh, with the Brute on the opposite side. I actually didn't play uh, Lightning maybe at all in this video maybe once but like uh, now is the perfect opportunity like one two three everything just disappears from the board you cannot get like better lightning than that except like i mean there are certainly like situations where you can get a better lightning but i was like the pure picture perfect uh, example he calls the game because he knows at this point he cannot do anything to even save his viking tower gg well played and we're gonna jump to the next game of the video and the next game will be against usernames, so usually when uh, someone doesn't uh, enter his username 
uh, the default username isn't like the word username as he uh, may have. It's actually the uh, ID of a player, like user, I don't know, 327,000, blah, 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 something like this. It's not the case here because my, op my opponent is just a cold username, so he's just faking that he didn't name himself, probably to gain some competitive advantage, that uh, he's kind of new to the game and doesn't know what he's doing, or maybe he doesn't know what he's doing because he's dropping his tower very quickly and yeah, that's gonna be... I don't want to call it right here, but I'm, I'm gonna anyway because that's how this video works. Uh, I think that's another dump. I'm gonna play Brute in the back because, like I said, I don't trust this guy. He already tried to deceive me at the first setup, so I probably uh, think that uh, he won't like give up and I'll have to actually tr take the 3 star out of him. Also, very smart T-Rex right here, just to avoid uh, any complications. I'm gonna play Super Devil because why not on this uh, T-Rex. I'm gonna right now try to over overwhelm him uh, on the ground, so like I'm not gonna engage into this Super Devil. Instead of that, we're gonna just go all in with say swordsman okay he's gonna actually get a uh, footman which is like a perfect counter against what i'm doing right now also my mother devil actually helps out uh, with taking down a super devil so it wasn't like even the problem there and at the same time obviously i've cleaned a flying robot uh, with just uh, devils from the mother devil so that's very cool to see i'm gonna set up another brute uh, in a second but first I'm gonna just wait if he doesn't have any better plans uh, to hit me on the opposite side. He actually placed a flying robot at the bridge, which is a very interesting move. And by interesting, I mean bad, because you usually want to like stack uh, uh, many like uh, troops with a flying robot, or at least sa some troops that can support it. And if flying robot is unsupported, as you probably can see, it's very weak, so I'm gonna just play second brute to tank for the buff towers. I'm gonna play Mother Devil in the center. I'm gonna play some bomber to get rid of these footmen. Very good call right here. I'm gonna get bullets to just eliminate them faster. And Longsword is on the Viking Tower, which means he cannot stop at GG's. Nice play. He actually wasn't playing like Flying Robot Loon, which is popular combo. He was playing with a Cemetery, which definitely wasn't good against me because I just based straight at him and uh, I can actually defend him while I'm base trading and I'm getting damage while he's not like his only good response against me were uh, footman and there wasn't enough so uh, that's gonna be another game I'm gonna see you guys in the last game of today's video and we actually are gonna get one more game against username he actually goes very aggressively right off the bat probably thinking he's gonna catch us off guard but uh, the common knowledge at least for me, I don't know if username is aware of that, but uh, you cannot pretty much play Cemetery uh, alone without any support and expect it to get damaged because like tower is pretty good uh, counter to a Cemetery by itself. And uh, it gets even worse because obviously your opponent can play some troops to defend it, so usually you want to play something else and my opponent is already given up. I was hoping for this game to actually be a quite longer but it looks like my opponent will be leaving instantly so yeah I, I think I'm gonna just wrap the video here today unfortunately there was uh, no like uh, no stronger opponents which were like above 1k medals and definitely have some experience in booming maybe one, one of these players that I face today have also some experience but uh, yeah uh, Mel's don't like represent that so pretty depressing uh, ending as uh, I take basically a free Viking Tower of my opponent username. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. This is a very cool deck to play. Usually Lightning kinda allows you to win some matchups which are difficult. You can like snipe some support cards. So like I, I wasn't able to show it in this video, but I kind of feel like you can figure it out for yourself. Uh, otherwise, you just play Brute, you play support cards and you win most of the time. So yeah, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I once again, uh, I am inviting you uh, to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, because I'm posting Boom Arena content every single day and you definitely don't want to miss uh, out on my apples. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Obu Marina. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna hit 15 minutes, but like, whatever. End of the video.